How dare you charge me a rush fee? Put pressure on me in such a way that I'm miserable when I'm doing it. Yeah. Good morning. We're gonna do a work day. It's early for me <laughs> to be up here. I wanna finish this beautiful quilt because I have to bind it and I wanna have it done by the end of this week. So I wanna do a work day with you, but at the same time, I wanna talk about some of the clients that I have been saying no to. And I'm gonna share why. While I'm talking to you, I am going to also be working. I hope that's okay. I need to purchase a pattern. Let me share with you the quilt. It's a pretty quilt. With this quilt, we're going to use a dark gray. Look how beautiful that gray is. And this has beautiful straight lines. One of the clients that I am not working for recently or denying, I just got a client who called me and look, let me just be honest. I do want to work. I do love doing what I'm doing. I don't like it when I'm not working, but I don't like it when I have a client that has procrastinated probably for several months and calls me that they need me to digitize a logo so I can embroider some garments for them and they needed it yesterday. Recently, I've been doing work like that and it's just the most miserable experience because rush jobs put pressure on me in such a way that I'm miserable when I'm doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put pressure on me in such a way that I'm miserable when I'm doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the digital design. This didn't have spacing here, so I spaced it out so that it, it's gonna be really hard to have this line and this line perfectly connect. So I separated it so that I could align the quilt as I'm rolling it. It's just a little tweaking of the machine, of the program, so that from the program to the quilt, it doesn't make it overly complicated. The way the program programmed it is it would sit on this line. Now, on this section of it, it would work perfectly. But when I roll it, it's gonna be so complicated to get this row to line up to the next row. And that's why I gave like an inch space so some designs you have to be careful with because uh, they can complicate the quilting process and you don't want to do that to yourself. So recently I've decided that I'm not going to take those type of clients anymore. I don't know. I've noticed that if I want a miserable day, take that job. <laughs> if I want to be frustrated and for everything to fall apart while I'm working, take a rush job. Yeah, just take it. If you want to just be pissed off by the end of the day and nothing goes well, take the rush job. And they're just the worst, man. They're the worst. I think the devil likes to play me. <laughs> and I think he knows that I want to work. And I feel that he knows that if I take a rush job, for some reason there's something different about it, that everything mostly goes wrong. I don't know if it's a pressure of the job. Hold on, let me see. Let me see my file before I purchase something. Wanna go out there? <clears throat> oh, 
Clappy clamps. Uh. Let me put you in a different angle. Let's see what it does. Is she recording? Need to get that edge. Clients that want you to do a rough job, rush job, rough job, rough job, rush job, rough job. One of the things I found, they're inconsiderate of your time. They think that they're the only clients and that you don't have any other work and they really don't care. Also too, when they're rushing you to hurry up and do a job for them, they really don't explain themselves clear enough or concise enough so that you're able to do the work for them in the rush that they're asking for. And I have found that when you try to contact them because you're in a rush and you need to ask them a question so that you can finish the job they're rushing you to do, they don't answer you. <laughs> they do not respond back. What I'm doing here is finding the, the alignment of where I want the quilt to start because I want it to quilt an inch away from this row. So I'm going to look at the computer. This is where it is on the computer. That would be a perfect spot. Look at that. Isn't she lovely? I'm going to move her over a bit because I want to have a quarter inch seam on the side. So I'm going to check it on the other side. <coughs> right here and I really kind of want her in right here so you can see the long arm I'm gonna check it on the computer if you notice here before it was on the line and now it's not so I'm gonna just kind of like smidge it up a bit To where it is on the line. Let me check it on the center. The inch center. Pretty good on the line. Not bad. Let me see. This is where I want it to quilt. Cat scratch that line. So it's nice and straight. Cat scratch. Cat scratch. Okay. 
and now it's perfectly on that line. I don't know if you can see what I'm saying. Yeah, pretty good. Now she could quilt. Look at that distance. Pretty good, huh? They do not respond back quickly enough and then you're on hold trying to do their rush job that they're rushing you on and they don't answer you at all. Yeah. And it's weird because they're rushing you to do it. You kind of put yourself in the rhythm like now, 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 now. And then when I had to contact one of them and ask them a question, he wouldn't respond and then you're on hold. It's like you're on pause, which is so frustrating because not only are you on pause to finish this rush job this client is rushing you on, you're also on pause with your other work because you can't start other work while you're trying to tend to this client. This is what happens when Gary stops working. Gary's taking a vacation for some reason and we don't know why. Maybe it's sick of working here. But we need Gary, look at this. <laughs> yep, it's horrible. Do you see my floors over there? Gary. Cause Gary can go under there. Ugh. Do y'all, do you see the thread? When Gary's taking a vacay, this is what I have to deal with. Uh, come on Gary. When they don't answer me, I start doing other work and putting other work in front of them because apparently it's not as important as they say it was when it initially started. And it's just frustrating. The whole process is so frustrating because they think that you are there just to do the work for them and they don't understand that you have other clients to work for. And let me just say this, this is not necessarily my long arm quilters. This is my embroidery clients. Look how beautiful this back fabric is. Delicious. She's beautiful. <laughs> no! That's them. They're the ones that do this to me. And they don't understand that digitizing a logo takes forever. They don't understand that I have to do a run through of the logo and they just don't understand. I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, you can't just snap a logo. You have to digitize it. And for you to put it on someone's garments, you have to do a run through. And then you have to fix that run through. And then you have to rerun the logo to make sure that it's okay. And sometimes logos take a lot of time to go through the whole process of running through them. Because what the computer shows is so different than what the embroidery shows. But clients that are rushing you, they don't care. They want what they want and they want it now. And don't let me get you started about them not wanting to even pay you the rush fee. Cause they're like, how, do, how dare you charge me a rush fee when <laughs> I'm your only client. I'm doing you the favor to bring you, the one who has a business from home, work. That's how annoying this whole process is. And that's why I won't take work like this anymore. It is the most, Kind of day when I take works like that. Ugh. <laughs>